Hello there, welcome to Ton TV and the Green at Morton weekly update as sponsored by McTears, the auctioneers. My special guest today loves getting up and down the park and putting crosses in. He relishes a meaty tackle and he's particularly good at this. So Lewis, we managed to get the ball back because <laughs> it ended up the other side of the park. Yeah. Do you practice that? Is that something that you've always had for your game? Uh, I think just like under 16s, just like from there on when I played like left back, just, just had a long throw. Never really worked on it, so it's just kind of just came with me. I don't know. I don't know where it came from, to be honest. I know we don't have supporters in, but there was always a kind of feeling of anticipation when the ball went out and you would start rubbing it and the throw in was coming. Are you aware of that when you're out on the park? Uh, I think so. Just like from one of the memories I have from it last year was. Uh, Bartic Thistle, obviously with a free to win there, so I always kind of, I'm always thinking about that when I'm wanting to take a throw there, so, but no, I don't mind it, just get it in the box and hopefully it gets a big chance. Tuesday night, it's the night we've all been waiting for, for seven months, but especially the players, how did it feel to be playing competitive football again? It was, it was brilliant to be back, you know, just even that feeling, even with the fans not there, to get out there and know you're playing for something was, was decent, I enjoyed it, you know, for seven months, like, Lockdown was not great for for me. I didn't enjoy it at all. Like trying to stay fit and all that through lockdown was brutal. But no, nah, glad to be back. You know, it's just what a feeling it is going out there. Not decent. What's your thoughts on the game? I mean, the first goal came indirectly from a loose strap through into dinner. Yeah, I just laid it back to threw it in. It came back out, and then I, I laid it back to Rabin, who put a brilliant ball in, and then it was it Sean got on the end of it. It's a good good header, a very good header actually. And, uh, aye. 1-0 up, so no, I can't ask for more from that. 2-2 two two for Sean, of course, because he was the last player to score a competitive goal against our both. Aye, it was seven, it? seven months ago. Yeah. Was that the last one? Was it the last one at winner? Mm. I remember that as well. I remember being through in the... Aye, that was, no, that was a good game as well. You know, I think we, we deserved our last minute winner back then. I think it was an equaliser, actually. Was it an equaliser? Oh, yeah, aye, yeah, it was an equaliser. Aye, last minute equaliser. Yeah, that was... I think for Sean that's a good that was a good header again on our header. That's what he kinda wants to get up there and get some goals in. Even from the throw ins, you know, when you get the two centre halves up you wanna get a you know, it came back out, went back in. No, nah, good goal for Sean. Second goal, Josh had a great game, I thought, as did Nizzy, coming down the left, cutting inside and Nizzy doing what he does best, just being in the right position at the right time. Yeah, it was uh, I think we work on that all all week at training, the out one side, out to the other, and then I think it was uh, was it Kai put it into the back post. You know we work on that, but and it came out to Josh and he stood the defender up and he's got um whipped it across. I don't know if it was a shot or not, but Nizzy got an end of it and that's all that matters. So now nah, it's good to see that things we're working on in training coming into the game. How do you think the new boys are settling in? Yeah, I think they're good. It's a good bunch of boys through there now. You know, obviously we've uh, built one from last year. We've still got a good few of the same boys, and you know, so it's, it's looking good. And did you enjoy Tuesday night? I mean, you seem to, as I say, have a, a good game. There's plenty of running down, but there's a few tackles you were yeah, so you I, I, I don't mind a tackle, so <laughs> uh, yeah, enjoyed it. You know, it's always good to be back in the pitch. It gets you when it's for something. You know, it's always good to get a good tackle in there. I get right into it, so no, nah, I enjoyed it. We mentioned the lack of a crowd. Obviously, that's a difficult thing to to, to play in. Yeah. Does it feel like a reserve game or something when you're doing that? Or. Uh, not so much, you know, I think the boys, maybe some of the older boys get, are getting you up for it, you know, Jim, Brian, that, they know, do you know what I mean, it is, it is hard to get a kind of mood about the place, but, you know, I think it does help with the fans as well, you know, they do get, a, like, you know what I mean, an atmosphere when, when, when you score, when the game starts again, you know, you get, you get up for it, right up for it, but without the fans, it's, uh, it's not as, as good, you know. Bit of a signal, losing yeah. the penalties, yeah. Aye, um, I think... It's a good save for the one Rabin's penalty. It's a very good save. I mean, he's tipped it onto the bar, but yeah, I think uh, I think you could tell maybe without well, like I think we deserve to put the game to bed, you know. So I think with them winning but in penalties, it's a probably better result for them. Do you know what I mean? Like for us, we're probably more downhearted about not beating them within the ninety minutes. But for them, it's probably like that's a good, very, very good win for them. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit of a lottery penalties, though, yeah. isn't it? For a penalty. Aye. I agree, a lot of for the penalties, man. I didn't, I didn't step up myself, but I think you just give it to the boys that play higher up the pitch, you know, scoring the goals in front of the goal and that. I'm not, don't really get in front of the goal myself, so. Is that a decision pre-match? If it goes to penalties, who takes them or do you decide? I think uh, just at the goal? end, boys just step up, you know. Maybe I could have done it myself, but nah, not for me that. 
You could throw in a penalty. Ah, if I could take a throw in, then <laughs> maybe I'd just throw it into the goal, but put it on the floor. It, it wasn't as, it wouldn't have been as bad because there's no uh, fans in it, but if the fans were in there, it would have been yeah. a good atmosphere. But. Onwards to Queen's Park then, Tuesday night. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, they're a good setup now. I think they're really full time now. I think maybe, and they've put they've got a lot of boys. Bob McHugh, they've signed some they've signed some good players. So, you know, I I'm not too sure what we expect from them. So it should be a good game. It will be hard. I think you know they are a good side now. So uh, I am look, I'm looking forward to it. But I think we have to expect them to be better than what people would expect them to be. And the season ahead, what's your thoughts on that? Just. Uh, do you know what I mean? The first, just get if we start well, it could we could go anywhere. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, like last year we didn't start too well, but this year I think uh, we've got a good group of boys now. We've got a good team. We've got a lot of like attacking options now this year compared maybe to a little bit last year. Maybe uh, I think uh, this year if we start well, we could push on. And for loose strap, plenty of coming up up and down the line, plenty of relishing tackles <laughs> and plenty of good throw-ins. Yeah, uh, plenty of good throw-ins and plenty of good tackles you get from me. You know so. Just want to get forward now and maybe get my name on the score sheet. Lewis, thanks for joining us today. It's no, great thank you very coming much. in before training. Really appreciate it. I see you've not got any new, <laughs> new, new gear. <laughs> well, the same you cardigan. know, I still like the cardigan. I, I know Nizzy gives me any trouble about uh, it. But what, what about the new strip? Do you like that? The new strip is decent. Uh, I thought in photos it looked good the other night. You know, so I had a wee look at the photos after the game and I thought, ah, it was it was decent. I like it a lot. Good. Well, we hope to see you. Wearing it plenty of times in the new season. Once again, thanks for coming in. Cheers, Jerry. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on the Green at Morton Weekly Update, as sponsored by McTears, the auctioneers.